Alright, and welcome to my playthrough of Dark the Dark Side Detective Agency. It's hard on case one. Malice in Wonderland. Whoa, I almost shot you there, Detective. You shouldn't be sneaking around like that. Dooley, you, you watched me drive up. I had my sirens on. You waved at me as I pulled in. I guess this place has me spooked out a, a little. So what happened here? Chief Scully just called me up and told me to get here ASAP. No details. Seven-year-old kid. Alice went missing a day ago. No sign of her leaving the house. Seems to be kind of spooky crap, I mean, the kind of case you're into, Detective. Great, let's get started. After you, Detective. You know, whenever standing in the rain stops being fun for you. Our trusty squad car. I like to call it a Popo Moto. Officer Dooley, why is there a hobo dripping all over my carpet? Uh, that's Detective Francis McQueen. Mr. Jones, he's here to investigate. I see. Twin Lakes finest, eh? Nice schooner. Aha, uh, you tell me it's not a schooner, it's a sailboat. A schooner is a sailboat, Dooley. Oh, these folks must be millionaires. I hope you don't smoke around your kid. Thankfully, Detective, I am rarely around my kid. So, how can I help you, Detective? I'll have it level with you, Detective. I don't have many dealings with her. She has a limited conversation pool. She's seven. Exactly. A TD's age. So I'll leave that to the Nami. She's around here somewhere. Why didn't you notice she was missing? I was out. How wonderfully shady. Have you got an alibi? Where I was in this where I was is none of your business, detective. My taxes pay your salary. They also pay for the cell and questioning room I'm going to have Julie here take you to. Fine. Call this number. They'll vouch for me. Busty Bella's Booty Boutique. Classy stuff. Uh, Bella's. Fond memories. I mean, where was he? A Bell shop? What? These are from the... The place is fancy to deserve something nicer than plastic flowers. Hey, are you free to help wallpaper my sister's house this weekend? I can do the first floor, but I need somebody to hold the ladder while I do the second. I... I think she meant the inside rooms. Really? Thank goodness. I was looking forward to wallpapering the roof. Was not looking forward to wallpapering the roof. What an odd place for a telephone. They must have run out of places to draw. I mean, put it. I better check for always out by. Hello? Busty Bella's Booty Boutique. Busty Bella's Bosom Bordello. Busty Bella's Bonda, yes, would have been enough. 
I'm a thorough woman, no question left un unanswered, no desire unfulfilled, no fantasy un unexplored, no, I get the picture. Are you sure? I could send you one if you like. Come say, client confidentiality, identities are concealed, sometimes in masks. This is a police matter, I'm Detective Francis McQueen. Frankie McQueen of the Dark Side Division? Yes. Tell Dooley I said he say hello. I'm glad the screen resolution doesn't let you make out that I'm blushing. Happy to help a friend of Dooley's. Yeah, Roy Boy was in here last night. Roy Boy. Some questions, even a badge, won't get you answered. That's all I need for now. If you find yourself needing anything else, just pop on by. Oh. Hey, I know that tree. It, it owes me five bucks. A drawing of our suspect. Really? I'll put it out to an APB. No, Dilly, don't do that. I've never seen a horse with five legs before. This is no time for art detective. Blacklight, this looks useful. I don't have much use of a dozen paint socks. This is a lot of pink. I think I'd have run off too. Tell me where she is, bear. I'm only kidding, you don't know. You're only a bear. A stupid now nothing no nothing bear. Oh, can I ask? My baby, my baby is gone. She has just disappeared. You have to find her. Hard to believe this is the same woman we spoke to. The stress of all that that is, has hit her hard. She seems like a sweet kid. Don't worry, we'll find her, detective. That nanny is beautiful. Ask her if she's single, you know, as part of that investigation. Our bed, very fancy. Looks like something's been kicked under here. No, it doesn't. Alice and her mom look quite ha happy here. Seems impolite to go rifting around in somebody's drawers uninvited. She's spoiled and sticks her nose where it doesn't belong. But that's what having super rich parents will do for you, I guess. Nothing suspicious, that's for sure. No, sorry. Jones's detective, even though it ends with an S, we still pluralize it. Is now really the best time? It's always a good time for grammar. Anyway, answer the question. Long enough to harbor no ill will whatsoever. We're done here for now. I'll get back to work and nothing else. Those look heavy enough to knock somebody out cold. Paint thinner. Fell where the shelf gave way. Not much left in it now. Looks like this gave away recently. Spilled paint thinner all over the wall. Just a bunch of forgotten memories. As attics go, this one is extra, extra creepy. Hmm, may not be broken after all. Just a blown bulb.
box marked Ian's Broken Dreams. me from my own grandfather. Your grandfather was a clock? What? No, he had a clock. Shame. I thought I'd finally found out something interesting about you. What? I'm interesting. Whatever you say, detective. Hmm, a black light bulb. May as well take it. Now, all we need is a disco ball, some white clothes, and fat beats. Then we've got ourselves a good good night. Good night is finding this kid. Did you follow me into the closet? You may have needed backup. Seems I have misplaced a key, sorry. This doesn't reveal somebody's attic shame. What the hell? Well, that doesn't look ominous at all. Okay, it seems to have everything I need. Let's get down to some spooky hijinks and redraw those missing symbols. Good time to stop doing well anything early. Even I'm not full enough to go now with no light. Seems like a bad idea to me. So, you're the nanny? The very innocent nanny, yes. Do you have keys to various rooms? I am the, a nanny, not a maid. Right, but do you? Yes. May I have a key to the study, then? Sure, there's nothing incriminating in there, anyway. What can you tell me about the demonic doorway in the attic? Nothing. Not a thing. It's nothing to do with me, that's for sure. I was here the whole time. We're done here for now. And hey, presto, we're in. Roy Jones, Esquire. It takes a certain type of person to have an oil painting of themselves. An old oil lantern. Seems to have some oil left, too. This statue is ugly enough to be worth a lot of cash. 
nice collection of books. It does suggest they've been they they've not been looked at in some time for shame. His magazine collection. Jeez, this guy is obsessed with jugs. Jugs Weekly. Hey, I just realized that there are only two seats in this entire house. Don't be daft, Julie. There are more. They're just off, off camera. You can never trust a man who owns too many books. That's what I say. How many books are too many? Six. And how many books do you own? I don't feel comfortable with this line of questioning. I should probably bite this thing, you know, just in case. Okay, Julie, let's do this. No offense, detective. But I was going nowhere near that creepy fest. I'll uh, stand guard out here. Box marks baby's first cult probes. This looks like the attic, right down to the broken shelf, except that it's all blue and cold here. The label says old milk, circa 1880. Why would you store that? Don't look in there, mister. That's where the three-eyed rats hide. Hello, mister. Hey, kiddo. Are you here to take me home? Yep. Good, I'm hungry and the sounds from the downstairs are scaring me. Yeah, let's get out of here. Crash. Bang. Not so fast, detective. Where's Dooley? That idiot. I knocked him out. I can't have you snooping around anymore. So I'm going to trap you here. At least take the girl. Oh, I intend to. I'm her legal guardian after all. It's my job to look after her. Especially if anything should happen to her parents. Say, for example, they're getting trapped in the dark side's version of their bedroom. It's where they'll be now if Alice had gotten into my stuff and stupidly trapped herself up here. I figured I'd be best to lay low until you had gone. I thought you'd have given up by now. What kind of cop would give up on the missing kid? Most of the TLPD. Sadly, fair. So what's this? So that's what this is. An inheritance scheme. You have to admit, it's fairly a fairly perfect crime. It is, actually. Even if you get rid of me, then what? Alice knows what you're up to. She's a smart kid. If she's so smart, she'll know to keep her mouth shut. Once Julie wakes, you and her scheme will be done for. Hmm, good point. I'll just have to get you to drag him in here with you. Come on. Okay, drag your friend in here. I know funny business. Have a taste of your own medicine. No. So the kid got into the nanny stuff and accidentally used it to trap herself in that creepy attic. The dark side. But that's... This is a surprisingly... So that's the summary of things, yes. Shame the nanny was... Certifiable. She was a looker. Really, she was dabbling in the dark arts with a plan to trap innocent people in the parallel world, kidnap their kid, and steal all their cash. I said it was a shame. Jeez. I wonder where the nanny got the cult book from anyway. That stuff is hard to find these days. A case for another day, I guess. 
first of all, we have to figure out what kind of paperwork covers this mess. Case closed. Okay, that's it for this case. Thanks for watching.